I guess it's not now exciting. I guess it's I guess so. Amazon here to give you guys a three movies, three movies review based on based on the trilogy, the, the trilogy of the X Men of the X Men. Now, I just want people just to really just to know before you go ahead and watch this video, I want you guys pretty much, I want you guys please pretty, please watch the whole entire video and you know and best to understand my opinions and stuff like that. I'm not demanding respect or anything like that. I'm not, I really am not. But these are just my opinions and stuff like that. I may not see as how you guys are seeing it and stuff like that, but I definitely do understand that some people may think, you know, that the X-Men series is not really all that great. So uh, stuff like that. But I will give them a rating for each of, of these movies. I don't know where to go on after this movie or something like that. And basically really actually yes. If there's a if there's an X-Men movie that you guys really want me to watch, just let me know. But I'm thinking about watching thinking about watching the Wolverine movie because which which I'm thinking about Watching it because I I think that's a standalone movie for Wolverine and stuff like that. That's basically what I I chatter to think, but uh, I'm willing I'm willing to watch it. But you know just get basically get my my opinions and stuff like that. Basically you know and stuff like that. But like I said like I said I just, I'm just just giving my opinions. That's all I'm just doing. I'm not asking for respect or anything like that. But I'm just asking you guys just to just really please be nice down the comments below. I, that's all I, that's all I just really just said. I just asked. So yeah, okay. Let's start with the first movie. The first movie, which is called the X Men, the, the, the basically the very first film, basically came out. I think it came out like something year two thousand or year two thousand one. I think it came out right around though, right around there and stuff like that. When I first heard about her, first heard about that they're making an X Men movie, I got pretty excited. I was going, oh, okay, all right, this is going to be really awesome and stuff like that. And because I've always wanted to see, you know, basically a live adaptation, basically. But basically, you know, seeing that, basically seeing the X Men and stuff like that. Now, just to be honest, just to be honest with you, I have heard X Men basically, basically in the comments just for that. And you know, especially you know, some of the comments basically they have right now, I, I won't be able to get them because they're very, very expensive, and they go date back like 1970s or the 1960s. I really don't know really that much when it comes to X Men and stuff like that and stuff like that because I really don't really don't know all that much or less or less or maybe they have rewritten of the X Men. Comments. I mean, I really don't know. So I mean, because I mean, I, I would like to buy them, but I just I just don't know how much they're really going to cost because they're pretty staggering numbers for, for for a series like that. I think they're far more popular than than Spider Man and some of the other ones. I mean, that's my opinion. That's basically what I definitely do think. I know some people will probably disagree on that, but even though this basically that's that's just basically just my opinion and stuff like that. And I'm not really the biggest fan when it comes to. You know, Basically, of Tobey Maguire, you know, playing Spider Man and stuff like that. It's just, I just felt that, I just felt that that the actor playing Tobey Maguire, you know, based for the Spider Man films, I just don't think it was really all that great. I just didn't think it really was. It's just that the cringe with Tobey Maguire, it's just something that it's just, it's just really just stuff. So, uh, so if you guys want to know what X Men is basically, it's about X Men is basically it's about, it's basically it's about where that the guys were the, that the guys you know they they recruit you know like different different people you know kids old people and all that all that kind of stuff you know and basically to to put them in you know basically a facility where they can learn how to control the powers and stuff like that and and, and basically stuff and you also have the leader of the X Men which is Doctor Xavier I do I, I do believe that's his I do believe that's his name or they call him Professor Xavier or just Xavier. Or they just call him Charles and so like that because usually uh, that's Matt Magnino usually calls Ch calls Charles. Now, based on the other side, based on the other side of the fence with uh, of the X Men, is basically you have the Brotherhood, which basically is known as Magnino. Magnino. If you guys don't know who Magnino really actually is, Magnino is pretty much is pretty much the guy who pretty much controls metals and stuff like that. And uh, some people may think that may think like you know Magnino is is a god complex, you know, a god complex to himself. I mean, he thinks he is a, he is a god and stuff like that, and that that's basically. I mean, I don't know. That's just it's just hard to say. Like the the level the the way of the, of the powers that he really actually has and stuff like that. Basically, it basically it feels it basically really actually feels to me and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if Magnin was really was dead in the in the X Men search. I'm not sure. Sure, I mean, I'm assuming he was or something like that. I really don't know. I don't think so. I'm not one of us for sure, sure and stuff like that. But I've also heard rumors that some people were saying. You know that X Men, uh, not X Men, but Wolverine was pretty much the last of the mutants or something like that. I don't know. That's from from what I've heard and stuff like that. That's basically my opinion. One thing I like about the first film, the first film they have Saber Tooth because one thing I'm kind of disappointed because basically with Saber Tooth basically being in this movie, I don't think I don't think they really did not give him really that much much screen time basically in the movie because 
I mean, it felt to me he didn't talk really all that much. He really did not. One thing I was really actually curious about because, like, with, with Wolverine, basically in this in this movie, which I, I know Wolverine is pretty much one of the most popular, basically out there, basically in X Men. I could be wrong about that. I could be wrong about that. But the one thing I like about Wolverine is basically is that uh, basically that he has like an animal instinct. You know, basically that's basically what he really actually has. He's he's kind of like built to be as a super soldier, and it's and you know basically known as a you know striker who pretty much made him and stuff like that. And, you know. Metal all around his body. It's just like wow. And they're like, like I don't know why they wanted to make him make him in the first place. I think they just want to make him because like, basically, basically because he's just basically like, basically want to make like super soldiers that that can't be stopped, that can't be killed. Because I mean, just look at just look at some of the hits that Wolverine takes. I'm like, wow, this pretty is and stuff like that. And what I do want to mention is, is that he heals pretty quickly. He kind of reminds me of the Hulk, basically in a kind of way because like. One thing I, I want to say here is that I know the Hulk and the Wolverine are pretty much are pretty much different, are pretty much different. But look at the Hulk. Like the more you beat up the guy, the more the more you got to, going to make the guy more angry. And that's what basically it feels to me. Because when I was like watching, you know, basically the Hulk kind of movie and the Hulk and, and the movie is that like they're firing firing bullets at him and stuff like that. And it just has no face on him. It's just like he's not like taking no damage. He's kind of like the ultimate tank, like. Going into a raid, raid battle, and stuff like that, or a PvP, and that's what it basically feels to me. And it's just that the dude is crazy. I mean, he really actually is, and stuff like that. And I kind of, I kind of just want to say, like, he kind of reminds me a little bit about Wolverine because, I mean, I'm not saying Wolverine compares himself to Hulk, uh, the the Hulk, or the Hulk compares himself to Wolverine or anything like that. I don't, I really don't think so. But I want to say is that I think, to me, in my honest opinion, I like Wolverine. Wolverine is, is I mean, he's not one of my favorites, but I really do like the guy because. I understand, I understand, you know, the sense and common sense that he has and stuff like that. And stuff like that. I mean, Wolverine is, is, I mean, yeah, he's a very smart guy. He's not dumb or anything like that. Because, I mean, it doesn't really matter to him, like, if he rushes out on the battlefield and he doesn't really care about basically what happened to him or anything like that. But he's always, always that kind of guy. And, you know, he wants to do things on his own, do things on his own and stuff like that. I noticed that the professor really wanted to help Wolverine, wanted to help him because help him to understand, you know, like, let me let me let me help you what happened back in your past and stuff like that and you know this basically you know base gave him a deal and stuff like that and uh i think that's what leads on basically the second movie where war uh uh now wolverine Wolverine went to went to go to basically to you know basically to see who this person really actually is until he met this person which is basically striker or i was a I fought or figure I would say I think I think but yeah now let's talk about rogue rogue is pretty much is uh, pretty much she's not really one of my favorites basically in the X-Men series and stuff like that I thought she was the kind of girl that basically it basically it feels to me that she used to use her powers just for fireworks and stuff like that and and, and stuff you know and, and and it really did not show that I don't know why it did not really show that. it did not show it in the second or third film especially the third film oh my goodness I'm going to get into that here in a little bit later, a little bit, a little bit later in this video, but it's just, it just feels to me, it just feels to me. I mean, it just tells me, it just tells me, you know, Rogue as a character. It just feels like to me is that she's a useless character, basically in the movie. That's what, that's what basically it feels to me, and basically in the first, basically in the first movie and other different series of the movie. I just like, what do they do to her? Because I mean, look at the cartoon, look at the cartoon version. Version you know, used to be on Fox Kids. It used to be on Fox Kids because I mean she has like fireworks and stuff like that. But why she's not using the fireworks or the the powers that she has basically in the movies? That's what that's what really bothers me. I mean, I, I just don't seem to understand why they did, did they did not do that. So I mean, because I think that's what she's supposed to be or something or no maybe I mixed maybe no I mix it up with somebody else or stuff like that. I think I am mix it with somebody else. Yeah, I really do think I, I do apologize for that. I'm just really kind of confused. I thought I thought that she was she was a girl. I can't remember like what kind of powers that she really actually has and stuff like that. I can't remember. Stuff like that because one thing basically in the movies is that you know basically when you see in the beginning of the movie you see her like where she basically has a boyfriend and you know she wants to make up with a boyfriend and stuff like that and basically when she begins to kiss him it feels it feels to me is that it's like she's she doesn't know what kind of power she really has is is best but what kind of powers that she has one thing you also have to keep in mind also for too that you know um Brogue is basically it's just basically she has to wear these gloves okay okay because if she took these gloves off, that means she can use her power to 
to heal people, or maybe she really can't, but she has to really understand that she's putting her life in danger and, so, and stuff like that. Because you basically also have, like, Magnino, based off the guy, that he's basically just using, like, he wants her power so he can create something, so he has, like, multiple powers and stuff like that. One thing basically about in this movie that I'm really kind of disappointed based on the first movie, it's not the best movie I've seen, but it's it's okay, it's okay. But I'm really kind of curious, like, I wonder, like, if Wolverine and Sabretooth pretty much has a relationship between each other. Maybe they used to be friends or, and stuff like that. I do apologize to you guys, that's my phone. But anyway, so that, that's what basically it feels like, and I was going, okay. And basically, basically is that, I'm like, I know it shows that in the cartoon version, basically in the movie, because, like, if you basically understand, like, what Wolverine really wants and stuff like that, it's basically... He doesn't want to do a war, violence, or anything like that. He kind of feels he kind of feels like he wants to isolate himself because he doesn't want to be around, be around you know saving people or something like that. Because he feels that his powers, he feels that his powers are just harming people. That that's what he actually feels. I'm I'm not so sure if that really is the case, if certain gen or not. I know some of you guys would say would probably tell me like you need to do your education on the on Marvel uh, Marvel's army, X Men. I, I do I definitely do understand that, but but even though but even though that that's basically what I saw basically. So I think the cartridge version was definitely very, very good. I really definitely do think I have not seen the cartridge version such a long, long time. I think it's is on Disney Plus. I have to look for that because I, I really want to I really want to watch them because I maybe like do reviews and stuff like that, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, probably not a lot of reactions because it's basically only licensed to Disney and stuff like that. So I mean, I, I really, really, I really do want to jump into the series because I really, really do. I really miss that series really a whole lot. So, so yeah. But uh, anyways, you know, now let's talk about the second film. Now, if I've already said about about Striker and stuff like that, and basically Striker, I, I don't know what Striker is really actually his, his goal is maintaining this. Maybe I didn't pay attention or, or anything like that because I mean, I, I think he just wants to isolate some of the, some of the mutants or something like that, or just use those powers, for, use their powers maybe for something. Something that they want, or maybe just eliminate the heat, the mutants, or something like that, or or something like that, and you know, and that that's basically what basically really actually feels to me and stuff like that. And one thing, one thing is that uh, I think, like I said, before, I think that Wolverine does have a special connection with Striker because I would say it's special, but I would say I would say it's pretty much it. Pretty much it definitely tells me that Striker really does like Wolverine, and Wolverine does like Striker, or maybe they both, or maybe they both don't. And, uh, you know, that's basically it feels me. Because you could just tell, like, yeah, yeah, because of, like, he gave, uh, I'm not saying, like, gave birth for until I, it feels to me that Striker is basically, to me, it's like, for what I see here, basically, for what I see here, that, that basically he's really just trying to, you know, trying, trying to create super soldiers or stuff like that. Or maybe, or maybe his funding for his program just didn't go too very well with the president and stuff like that. So that, that's that's what it basically feels to me. I, I don't know enough information about Striker to because I really don't. I really do not know. One thing, one thing I definitely want, want to talk about is also Mystique. I, I should have talked to you guys about that basically in the first movie. One thing I was kind of wondering, like I was kind of wondering, did Mystique has? Did, did she have a child? Did she have a, a son? And I wasn't one hundred percent sure. Her, 100% so sure if that really was the case or not because I can't remember the name the name of the guy I think it's called his name is shadow or something like that. I think that's his name or or, or something like that. I think that's his name I'm not really 100% so sure he's kind of like he's kind of like um he kind of like he jumps through walls up through buildings and with that <laughs> he's like like all over the all, all over the other places and stuff like that and he was and he was going to, and he was you know having plans to basically go and assassinate the president of the United States because because you know, basically, the the way the way he did not like about what the what they were doing and stuff like that, and you know, and I definitely do understand. Like, I definitely do understand. Like, everybody has their own different takes about what they, basically, what they think about the president, and, you know, and stuff like that, and basically on movies and stuff like that, either good or bad. You know, that's basically what it basically really feels to me. I think that they did get a good job based on his character, but the question is, but the question is, did did he have a mother? Or maybe they're both related in some sort of way, or maybe Mystique probably knows that's her son. I mean, they both look look alike, but the question is, but the question is, are are they both related? Are they are you know is that her son or is that his mother? We really do not know. So I mean, there's not really much to talk about based on the uh, based on the second movie. I definitely do like it. I definitely do think it was a, definitely was a it was. It was okay, but it's not really by far one of my favorites. It's really not because I just think that the movie just didn't really flesh out really much of the characters really all that much. That's my opinion. That's basically what I definitely think. And basically, the third final movie, 
I have to say, I have to say, this is pretty much, pretty much. I think it was just done for the series, or maybe they just want to plan doing more, it's doing more. And one thing, <clears throat> one thing I really want to say is that there's too many deaths basically in this movie. Okay, first of all, uh, Cyclops, or I would say Scott himself, he's dead. He's gone. He's. I mean, Jane. Jane has this power that she has that that, that she cannot control and stuff like that. And just basically that she kind of surround herself as the Dark Phoenix or just the Phoenix and stuff like that. And I was going, oh man, I was going, I was, I was going, oh man. And I was just really just kind of like wondering, like, like, how did she get this power? Like, how did she get this power? How they did not notice her or anything like that? Because I think the Professor is pretty much the one who knew about her power and stuff like that. Because people were just like thinking, like, oh yeah, she must have died, but and, and, and stuff. So. We wasn't really actually one hundred percent sure. I was kind of wondering if Jane was was just basically just uh, maybe she wanted to isolate herself. Maybe she really wanted to do that. But I'm not really one hundred percent sure, sure if that's what she really wanted to do. If that was basically the case, yes or not, I really do not know. But that's what that's basically what I definitely think. Maybe she thinks that she doesn't want to be around people because she thinks that she was going to cause so much destruction. Basically, basically, what she has, and basically, the power that she has is very, very powerful, and, and really, actually, is. And I think she does become the phoenix, or I will say, the dark phoenix, or something like that. And she does have that power. It just basically, you know, I think she has like fire power and also psychic power. I think, I think, I think so. Um, that's basically what I definitely take, especially Logan. Especially, you know, I would say, you know, Wolverine. He wants to save her. That's basically what he really wants to do, and stuff like that. And so it's basically stuff. And yes, she did die at the end of the movie, and I was just like really just shocked about that. I just did not really understand why they really needed to kill her off basically in that movie. It's just it's you know, I just don't seem to understand. She should have she should have survived. I think there should have been something that they could like that they really could help her to really to understand the base what she's doing. I don't know if that if that's what they did basically in in the cartoon version or i would say basically in the comic books and stuff like that so so yeah um professor professor yeah he's he's gone he's gone that's one that's one that's one thing i did not like about the film he should have lasted a lot he should have lasted a lot more longer than than basically in these films <laughs> i don't know that's just it that's just like a legacy or that's just my opinion but I don't know. I really wish. I really wish they would just last more his character because I think he would just be some great help to, to um, you know, especially you know, Charles and Magneto. They, they both don't like each other and stuff like that. They're trying to get Jane to get Jane to come. No, it's just there's just no way, no way. There's no way. There's no way because like the girl. I mean, like no one say the girl. I would say a team. I mean, like the girl. I was like she's just out of control. She really was, and just like just uh, basically the powers that she really has. It just it just seems to me is is that one thing I just didn't like about this movie. This was a major. I think this was a flaw in the movie, or maybe they just added a scene to this. Was it really true that Jean really actually killed Professor Xavier? Because I wasn't one hundred percent sure about that. Because I think Professor Xavier uh, lasts a lot more longer in the comics and also in the cartoon version. But in the movie, oh man, I don't know. So I mean, that's over my opinion. Um. Okay, the first movie um, rating, I say seven out of ten. The second movie, um, six point five, um, and the third movie, I would I would have to say uh, four, four for rating. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> those those are just my opinions so that uh, and stuff. So yeah, I hope I I hope people definitely too understand what I'm saying here, and I really do hope that people just basically just look at these films and stuff like that, you know, I mean, it's, I mean, it's up to you, I mean, everybody has their own opinions, but that's, that's the reason why I'm just facing, I'm just saying, I just don't want to basically get a bunch of hate, because, you know, because I really don't understand the, the whole, the lore about X-Men, so, so, I, I, like, as far, I'm just saying, so, that's just my, my opinions, but, <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, uh, tell me what you guys think, uh, I, I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, I really don't know, I just ask, I just ask, just happy would just be nice on the comments. Well, that's all I ask. I'm not demanding or anything like that, but I'm just basically the same. So, yeah. Anyways, it's done. Anyways, it was, I'll see you guys later. Take care. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Uh, please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Excuse me. And please hit the, hit the notification bell as well, too. And please leave your comments below. 
And as I love you guys. Take care. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. God bless. Remember to say I love you guys. Please stay safe. And stay blessed. Love you guys. Take care.